We're going to do a video on crude real quick. I want to show you how to trade this line in the sand trade with JSignal. All right, the projected high this morning. Okay, news came out, non-farm payrolls, okay? We were sitting down here when I got on the mic this morning right at this level. News came out, non-farm payrolls, the first Friday of every single month. We get a great trading opportunity with crude oil and gold. Well, with crude oil this morning, news came out. We were sitting right here on here a couple minutes after news. The projected high was 08 to 15 right here. That was a projected high projected in the room for a number three trade. This is a number three. And the reason I projected number three up there is that we only have two trades in the trading room that, trading room that we need to trade. <clears throat> number threes are continuation trades. Well, the market sets a lower, higher, higher low, just like this, the trend, and number one trades are deep retracements trying to keep a V top or V bottom. Number three trades are really productive because they're continuation trades. On J signal, we have two time frames we trade off of. We trade off the five sim, and we trade off the three sim. The five sim Rinko is the largest time frame we trade off of up here. Off of your own ninja charts. This works on all markets. The best way to trade the five sim is with five minute trend filter. We have a five minute trend filter built in. And here's the moving average. The longer term is magenta. Shorter term is green. If they're crossed down, you have trend is down. I have this big black line I call the line in the sand. The line in the sand says this. The line in the sand says if I come up and touch you with overall trend direction and it's the first test of it, which it was all night since midnight, it's the first test of it in a downtrend. It hasn't tested it before. If I test you the first test, I'm going to take you short with the pulling bar. So what happened was we came up and tested right on it, my projected high was 08 to 14 to 15. 15 was a line in the sand. You wait for a doji or spinning top, which is blue, or a plus sign. Then you wait for a close below that. There is your exact bar entry right here. When you take these J signal trades, you're going to have the exact bar to get into and your exact stop placement. When I trade the five sim Rinko, my largest time frame, you want to place your stop two ticks above that swing high after entry. Two ticks above that swing high is where you want to place it. This is your stop. Your stop is at 17 on this short. So we got a 45.17 stop. Entries anywhere from 45.01 to 45.02. I said the projection on this trade is 45.25 to 45.30. And it's all the way up here. Look where we're sitting right now. 45.30. So that was a 45 to 45.30, $700 potential trade just like that with the exact bar entry, exact stop, exact final target. It's all based upon this one chart with JSignal on this number three. Now the reason I was excited about the 08 to 15 is a possible number three short. We trade off our black charts over here too. We don't counter trend trade these black charts. Never do. We only take it with trend. So obviously the moving averages are down. So what we want to do is we don't buy LVA. We're smarter than that. We're more knowledgeable than that. Knowledge is power. We break LVA. It retests right on my LVA at 14. Breaks volume profile. Retest 08. Exceeds it. You're allowed to straddle it just so you don't close above it. That validates that trade as a short, 0814 short, just off the black charts by itself. Consequently, I got confluence on my five sim Rinko right at my line in the sand. So that told me I got a strong trade, and I told you we got a possible $1,000 trade coming up on crude on this. I was exactly right on with the target too. 2530 is the overall target. We're coming down into it. The exact short, 4501, 4502. That's based upon you can trade JSignal by itself on any market. As long as with trend, if it hits that black line in the sand with the pull-in bar, 
If you trade the five sim rate, it'll stop as two ticks above the swing high. But consequently, our black charts and my ATR chart worked out the same. My ATR crossed down. It touched my red dot. And that's when I got some J signals there. And then also break retest LVA worked both on my volume and price profile. And it worked on my J signal. So the five sim on the wave three and wave five, it's two for two. There's a wave three pattern. Here's a wave five pattern. It's in a, it's in a full cycle of Elliott wave right now. Now I'm down to my final target of 30 to 25. There's your final target for a possible $700 potential trade. I didn't talk about any longs this morning on crude. I said only short. That's the only projection I gave on the number three. Go to gold, Gerald. Gold, I want to show you what it looks like on a breakout on gold. Gold broke out. Broke out a high value area. What do we do when we break above high value area? We look for the first retracement long. Look how it went right on my line in the sand, my black line in the sand right here. Check it out. What you want to do if you're testing around the black line in the sand, just like you do the five sim Renko, you can do a pull-in bar above the spinning top or doji. Spinning tops are blue. There's your exact bar entry. Look how small your stop is. It can be on the three sim Renko. Just put a hard 15 tick stop in with news. If the five sims lining it up, just put it below two ticks below the swing. If you can see what happened on gold, look at this explosion on gold with a small stop. Look at that. Straight up. 11.26 and a half, all the way 11.36. Consequently, it lined up on my five sim ratio also, my large time frame. If I take a look at my large time frame, I pull it over here right beside it. You should have your five and three next to each other when you're trading J signal. News released. You get a big pop in the market. There's your first retracement. There's your first J signal long. You're allowed to take on the five sim. The five sim exactly coincided with the W bottom on symmetry dots for support. Exactly at my black line in the sand. You had confluence. So both trades worked out. Gold was confluence. Line the sand long. Confluence. That's how the five and three line up. Great trade on gold. Exploded with non-farm payrolls. Crude oil, go back to crude, Gerald. Very simple. We don't take any longs on crude oil. We're not counter-trend traders on these black charts. We let low value area break. We retest low value area. We look for the big downside break. All right, that's $700 potential this morning. I said we can usually get done by 9.15 in the morning. It's 9.30 right now, pretty close with non-farm payrolls, the first Friday of the month. These number three trades are very powerful. And then I even said the ATR works after the number three. We had an ATR trade that got cranked right here. ATR trade was up here. My ATR worked too. So it didn't matter if you took the number three. There's my projected number three this morning. There's my ATR trade. Doesn't matter what you took on crude oil. There's no possible way you get stopped out with the methodology this morning. If you're placing the right correct stop placement above the swings, above the swings where you're supposed to be placing them with news events. All right, real nice move down to the downside. All right, so good job this morning, guys and gals. Have a great weekend. Gerald, go and shut that off. My projection hit 25.30. We're down there. Seven hour large trade potential. Good job. Who all caught that in the room? Who, who, who all got that in, uh, in crude this morning or the majority of it? Who all caught the majority of the run for 25.30? Good job. Good job, Earl. Good job, Joe Long. Good job, Lada. Good job, Dave. Good job, Pat. Good job, Dave Peden. Good job, Mick. All right, guys and gals, that's how you do it. When, we, we just got to be patient sometimes. As long as we leave our stops in, the one thing I'm going to start teaching you with non-farm payrolls, we got to pick our hot spot, which we did this morning. We got that correct. The number three was exactly dead on, right? We had an area. The key is let's don't try to nickel and dime ourselves where we're, our stops are a little bit right on, you know, the verge of getting stopped out if it tries to get a little volatile with news. So we can't risk a lot, but what we have to do is we've got to put our stop two ticks above the swing is really good. We've got to pick our swing first, and then we've got to pick our area and then put our stop two ticks above that especially if the five sim lines up a line the sand 
and then we just got to hold our targets. I'll do my job, and I'll try to give you my overall target where I think it'll go. My overall target was 2530. So when we're all the way up at 70, I said we still got a nice little big move down. Actually, we're at yeah, 4480. I said we got a still a big move down, $600 big move down still per one contract. So I'll try to show you with news on non-farm where I possibly think she can run. And then it's our job to let that runner run, and uh, you guys did a great job this morning. Yeah, congrats to all. That's a nice little payday. All right, now on the next one, I want you to follow gold this morning. If you're still a gold trader, keep an eye on that HVA. If we get a corrective wave, it should be pretty massive, right? But the corrective wave, just in case it gets you in a corrective wave and she jams right through it, place your stop two ticks above the swing so you don't risk a lot of money on the corrective wave because they are dangerous because you're, you're, you're trying to counter the push up. But we can't do that unless we get back below high value area. But we should have it before noon. We should have a nice corrective wave before noon. And it should be pretty, I got it going down to 11.15. 11.15, 11.15 11.16. That should be the wave pattern. All right, you guys have a great weekend. Good job, guys and gals. Congratulations. I want to make sure that some of you traders got that big move and got it. So good job, Mick, David, Pat, Dave, Lada, Earl, Joe. Nice work. All right, way to hold your runners. On big non-farm payroll days, try to hold your runners. It can make your whole week, right? Trend days and big news days. You guys have a great one. Take care now. Bye-bye.